Hey guys, it's Coach Ivan here. I'm just going to do a quick review on uh, decimals. And as a reminder, in sixth grade, you've got to be able to do multi-step decimals, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and you should know the standard algorithm, which means that you're going to be doing this by hand. Although decimals are super convenient for using calculator. And for those of you that have really been struggling with fractions and the concept of fractions, dividing a numerator and denominator. Um, you can quickly take that fraction and put it into a calculator, you know, the numerator divided by the denominator, and you'll get a decimal. All right, so there's some interesting connections between decimals and other things, too. Um, decimals can be used to um, easily and quickly convert over into a percentage. It's base 10, which we like. Um, you've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Uh, we're used to money. You know, where a cent is 0 0.01, a dollar is a whole number. Um, so we're, this is a, the decimals are a system that we're convenient with, but there are a few rules with the arithmetic. So I've got adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing here. I'll do a couple problems in, uh, in each just to show you how to set them up. Uh, and then I'll let you finish them off. Uh, and we'll see how far we get in this tutorial. But this is just a little reminder we're going to start uh, doing one-step equations with decimals here in sixth grade. So um, this is important for you to understand and remember how to how the number sense works for you to be able to do the equations. And uh, just as an FYI, I'll be looking over here. I've got two different screens. I'm doing this on the on my big screen, my big monitor over here, and the videos here. So I'll be looking off to this side, and I'll refer back. Um, so adding. I have an example here, 87.65 plus 67.8. Now, in, normally, like left to right in calculator, this would be fine. You just punch it in, in calculator, and that's actually exactly the way that you would punch it in. And then you, all you do is write equals or enter, and then all of a sudden, it would pop up with a solution in your calculator. You have to do this uh, by hand in sixth grade. Again, seventh this is totally fine as long as you understand how to use a calculator. Um, calculator will speed things up for you, and it'll make your rhythm take a lot easier. Uh, but we've got a lot of kids that go into seventh grade and seventh grade teachers just say, hey, yeah, you don't have to know how to do it by hand anymore. Here's a calculator, but you don't understand the numbers. Um, you don't actually understand where they're coming from. So you just punch in whatever you punch into your calculator and you don't understand how to do it. So uh, hopefully this will help. You do need to understand the fundamentals of how the decimals work, how the fractions work in order to um, under like really, really um be able to interpret the numbers that you're getting from the calculator and make sure that this the uh, answer is makes sense with the problem. So for adding decimals by hand, it makes the most sense to do it vertically. And by vertically, I mean you're going to actually take this point like 67.8 and instead of adding it left and right, you're going to add it up and down vertically. So I've got 87.65 and I'm actually going to use a uh, dark blue pen for this. I've got 87.65 uh, right here plus 67.8. The most important thing when uh, when adding or subtracting is that your decimals need to line up. All right, vertically, your decimal needs to be in the exact same spot. So I've got 87.65 plus 67, and my point is going to go right there in line with the other decimal, 67.8. Okay, now I'm ready to add. Yeah, and just like whole numbers, you're gonna you're gonna add what's above um, to what's below. Oh, whoops! We're in the ones place here, and I've got to add five plus. Wait, what? There's no, there's nothing there. It's blank. Well, 0.8 um, is eight tenths as a fraction. That's how we actually say it. Eight tenths. Um, if I were to go over one more. Place um, this second place to the right of the decimal is the hundredths place. So eight tenths equals what over one hundred? How do we get from ten to a hundred? Multiply by ten. So we'll do the same thing with the eight. Multiply by ten. So I've got eighty over one hundred. So I got to add a zero here, and then I'll be able to add straight up. Right, so whenever you see a blank spot, it's adding a zero. Five plus zero is five. Eight and six, 14. Keep the decimal in your solution. Seven and seven is 14 plus one is 15. Eight and six is 14 plus one is 15. That's your answer. Decimals need to line up. That's adding. We'll do a second one with subtracting, then multiplying, dividing. 